Welcome back everybody, Patrick here, moving on to the next question. So we have to determine the values of m such that the area of the parallelogram formed by the vectors a, which has components 1, negative 2, and 5, and then vector b, 1, 4, and m, is root 2, 21. So basically what's happening, to give you a brief drawing, so we got vector a, and then we got vector b, and both of these vectors if we're adding them, they're forming this parallelogram here. And we gotta find the area of this parallelogram. Actually, we don't have to find the area. We're given the area, we have to find this z component of vector b, which makes the area of this parallelogram root 221. Now, just as a review from the chapter, area of parallelogram formed by two vectors, is what? It's basically the magnitude of the cross product between the two vectors. So it's going to be the magnitude of the cross product between vectors a and b. So we know the area of the parallelogram is root 221. So let's write that here. But the cross product between a and b, we don't know that, or the magnitude of that cross product. So let's find that first. So uh, since a is the first vector, it doesn't really matter actually because we're finding the magnitude, but either way. So the a vector we write on top of the b vector, but we start with the middle component. So we got negative two, five, and then one, and negative two, right? We always start with that middle component and then move to the right. Once we get to that z component, we come back to the x component, and then rewrite that y component one last time. Remember the endpoints here, it's always that y component. And then we write out vector b, starting with the middle component. So we got four, here we'll have m, then we got one, and then we got four again. So now we can find out what the x, what the y, what the z component is of the cross product. So starting with the x, uh, x component, so negative two times m minus four times five. And that would give us what? Negative two m minus 20. So that is the x component of the cross product. Y component, we go five times one minus M times one, which would be five minus M. And then the Z component, one times four minus one times negative two. These two negatives make a positive, so we got four plus two, which is six. So cross product, x component, y component, z component. So we know the cross product of a and b is negative uh, 2m minus 20. I'm gonna erase this here. Uh, then we got five minus m, and then we got six. But to plug it into this formula here, we need the magnitude of this vector. So notice this is a vector here, x component, y component, z component. So we've got to find the magnitude of that. Magnitude of a vector is what? It's the square root of all of the components squared and then summed up. So we'll have a negative 2m minus 20 squared plus 5 minus m squared plus 6 squared, right? And now we just simply have an equation to solve and we could solve for that m value. So notice that we have a square root on both sides so we could square both sides. So continuing this up here, we would have 221, actually don't put the equal sign there, put it in the middle. So 221 equals negative uh, 2m minus 20 squared plus five minus m squared plus six squared. So next step, 221 stays the same on the left side. And then we would FOIL this bracket out. So this would be four m squared plus 80 m, negative 20 times negative 20 is uh, 400. 
Then we FOIL out this 5 minus m, so that would be 25 minus 10m plus m squared plus 6 squared is just 36. And now we can bring this 221 over to the right side. So we'd have like minus 221 on the end, and then we can collect all the like terms. So we'd have 4m squared plus m squared, that's 5m squared. We got uh, 80m minus 10m, which is uh, 70m. And then we would have, what, 400 plus 25, 425 plus 36, that would give us 461 minus 221, because we're bringing it over, 461 minus 221 gives us, uh, what, 240? Like that, and then we're just left with zero on the left side. And I think this is actually gonna factor smoothly. You could throw it in the quadratic equation right away if you want, but uh, I'm gonna continue this. I'm gonna put a little line here. So zero equals, you could take out a five from everything. So m squared plus um, 14m plus uh, 240 divided by five would give you 48, like that. And then, uh, and then what? This factor smoothly into m plus 6, m plus 8. So what are the m values? Negative 6, negative 8. Those are your final answers to this question. So if m is either negative 6 or negative 8, then the area formed by, uh, or the area of the parallelogram formed by these two vectors is gonna be root 221. You can actually check your answer, so you could plug in negative six here. You can find that uh, magnitude of the cross product and you will get root 221. Same thing with negative eight. So those two are your final answers.